Today, I'm gonna show you how to bizarre flip in the early, mid, and late game stages. Of course, this means that we're gonna be looking at items that are very cheap and some of them which are very expensive, maybe even to invest. Now, if you're in the early game stages, it's actually better to craft items rather than bizarre flipping because... Well, for the flips, you do need quite a bit of money, but one of the easiest items that you could be doing is, uh, well, firstly, buying 256 melons, which is only 1.1k, and then also getting 228 gold, which is 900 coins. Now, obviously, you want to do it like times 100 or so. And the item that we're crafting here is actually needing 15k in the melon collection. And that's the enchanted glistering melon. Once we have the items, we just want to go ahead and actually make it into golden nuggets. Then converting them into glistering melons. And once that's done, we are ready to craft the enchanted glistering melon. So we spent about 2,000 coins on it. And we're going to sell it for 28,000. I mean, that's actually insane. There are obviously a couple of other items, for instance, getting coal. So let's buy 128 of those, which is only 700 coins. And then 32 of the dark oak wood. Uh, yep. This total costed us only 800 coins. And from this, we're going to be actually crafting enchanted charcoal. And we're going to sell this for literally almost triple, which is kind of crazy. So 1,600 coins. Other items to craft and uh, quickly sell would be actually baits and I'll quickly demonstrate one of them which has the hardest recipe. I'm just gonna do buy instantly on these but firstly we're gonna need one raw salmon, five raw fish, three prismane crystals, nine gold and then one ink sack. From these items we're gonna be able to craft a fish bait, light bait, also dark bait and then the last one is actually gonna be a blessed bait so there we go and now we can actually turn it into the whale bait and we can sell it for quite a bit of profit now it does take a while but these items usually sell pretty fast once you reach mid game stations you should be having quite a bit of money to actually start doing bizarre flipping properly which means that you just want to make a buy order and then sell it or also you could technically still craft some items like hot potato books. But as you can see, we could actually buy for 39,000 coins but and we could sell it for 41,000. So let's make an order of uh, 100. Can we afford that? Yes, we can. So that would be 3.9 million. There is a couple of items that I would avoid actually flipping and these are gemstones now the reason why i would avoid gemstone flipping is because majority of dupers are over here and these prices literally don't make sense like right here that's 600,000 profit this right here is 136,000 profit this here is 188,000 profit so you guys get the point i mean we even have 2 million profits right here which is just insane but i would try to avoid it because yeah majority of this here is duped uh, which is uh yeah i mean usually it's just you can always see when the bazaar goes down right before that it's the gemstones <laughs> but some of the best ones are summoning guys they are really easy to flip and then also we do have the null voids which are also amazing to flip so these are the top three items I would recommend. And late game, well, this is where things get interesting because I would say flipping with the most money, it is the easiest. So you need more money to make more money. If that makes any sense at all. Uh, but as you can see, I've been trying to, for instance, buy Enchanted Shurricane because I'm going to be actually investing into it. So we're going to actually make another order here and then also Hyper Catalyst. And the reason why I'm actually purchasing these is so we could potentially get ourselves a big profit once Mayor Derpy comes around. Now, this is something that I was written on Discord saying like, yo, Mayor Derpy is going to be here in one month and uh, I'm going to be holding on to these items. But right now, it looks like Enchanted Sugarcane itself is pretty nice to flip. We could sell this for 29 million and we bought it for 27 million. So that's quite a bit of profit, almost 2 million profit. And the Hyper Catalyst, could we flip this already for profit as well? Yes, we could, which is amazing. But uh, yeah, I'm going to make a quite large purchase. However, the price is pretty high up right now. I wouldn't right now maybe recommend buying it. It should be at 51k. But I think when Mayor Derby is around, it could be easily 55k. So I'm going to go ahead and actually update my purchase order here. We're going to buy another 1,000 Enchanted Shurikane, which is going to cost us 53 million. And let's buy... I guess 94 Hyper Catalyst more, which is going to be 14 million. 
Overall, in the late game stages with a lot of money, you could be also purchasing items like in a huge bulk and then hold on to it for a few days and typically you can sell it for profit. Also, I'm looking right now at the booster cookie prices. They might be kind of worth it to buy, but booster cookies do take quite a bit of different turns. I guess let's buy 20 of them and uh, that would be 60 million. I think we're going to get a few mil profit here as well, potentially. And if you're curious to know what it looks like to spend 100 million on green gifts, here's the video for that. Are we going to break even? Are we going to make profit? And if so, how much profit?